Let's get fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds great. This is... Um, let's the, get our Jimmy on. Let's get it on. Let's, let's, let's do it. <laughs> we should be drinking Jim Beam while we're doing this. And, or dropping Jim, acid while they are. But uh, okay. this is the Digitech Jimmy That's Hendrix how you roll. Experience pedal. Yeah, it is. When, I remember when these came out. Because we've done the uh, the Brian May one. Yeah, and it was yeah, the, terrific. The special. Yeah. And similar to that, they've condensed, what is it, seven? Seven signature tones. From Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Into the Digitech Jimi Hendrix Experience pedal. Yeah. Now, these came out in what? The 2000s? I have or? no idea. Let us know what year these came out. Yeah, yeah. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Please do. Yeah. So I don't have the whole pedal in frame, just sort of the top bit, because that's sort of the business end of it. Mm. Um, so it's about the size of your crybaby wah. Yeah, wah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. almost it's almost identical to a wah yeah. size pedal. Yeah, and if you didn't know any better, like I didn't before we did the Brian May one, you would just think it's a weird looking wah pedal. Mm. Yeah, but it's not. It does so much more. So with Hendrix tones, you'd get some really nice clean sort of strat into Marshall wound out, and then you'd get fuzz, and then you'd get some kind of Leslie effect that he would have, and some wah effect in there as well. Yeah, yeah, because he didn't use much. He had a fuzz face and mm. some Roger Mayer uh, stuff. And, yeah, and a wah. Yeah. And he did have some some bit of warbling uh, modulation on some of his tones. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Anyway, we're just going to go through all seven of these and let you have a listen. Cool, really quick. I'm not 100% sure I'm doing it right. And I'm not sure I'm 100% doing any of Jimmy's stuff right. Well, please, so, please don't back. play any of Jimi Hendrix stuff right because they are chronic uh, copyright infringers. Okay, all right. So yeah. we won't we won't tread on that line too much. Anyway, this first model, model number one, mm. is with the uh, LED on green. Yes. Yep. Uh, this is the intro tone to Purple Haze. Right. I like the way you sort of played it a tiny bit, but not really. That was very good. And, of course, we're going into the Strymon Iridium on a Marshall setting. Yeah? Yes, we are. And it's reasonably clean. Okay. Yep. Reasonably clean. Yeah. I would show you, but I don't know how to just bypass this pedal. <laughs> I, I like how they've got the John Mayer fuzz face tone going on there. Um, oh, there we go. I've bypassed it. Okay, so this is clean. So very clean. Every single effect you hear is coming from this Digitech... Yes. Jimmy Hendrix has the reverb, the wah, the modulations, the fuzzes, just every single effect you hear is coming from this pedal. Yeah, so knobs across the top, you've got gain and volume, and then you've got tone controls, and then you've got an independent reverb. Yeah, so as, as well. well as the presets, they're, they're not set in stone. Right. So if you've got the gain completely off and you flick on the preset, the gain is off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can yep. set it to suit your You can your still rig. tweak it, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're putting it into a JC120 or something like that, you need to adjust the highs or something. Yeah. And also, um, not in shot as well, is the, the remote control switch that you've got as well. Yeah, 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 it's just letting us flick through everything. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Anyway, so that first one was the intro tone to uh, Purple Haze. Just give us mm. one more listen. Mm. Oh, you've got to tell you. Yeah, cool. All right. I was going to say, are you humbuckering or... Um, no, I'm no. telling Yeah. Uh, right, and this, uh, when it's in red, the LED is in red. Right there, this is the solo tone for Purple Haze. This is a Seymour Duncan stacked humbucker, though, in the neck position on the telly. Yeah. So, yeah. So you've got the, At the Octavia in there. Yeah, the yeah. Octave fuzz. Yeah. Right, this is number two. Yeah. This is the intro tone for The Wind Cries Mary. Mm. Bonk. That's really touch sensitive too. Yeah, yeah, I just turned the reverb up a little bit too. Okay. I, 
I remember it sort of being kind of wet, but don't hold me to that. Mm. Uh, and then when I flick it over to the red mode, mm -hmm. it is the solo tone for the wind cries. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, That's yeah, very yeah. Cool. Very nice. All right. This is uh, the intro tone to Foxy Lady. Mm. Oh. Cool. Oh. Then the red LED gives us the solo tone for Foxy Lady. I really love how they've nailed that, that fuzz going into a... Going into a Marshall that's just all on 10 and about to explode. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, they've put a lot of work into it, you can tell. Yeah. Uh, right, now this is where it starts to get complicated with added delays, wires, rotaries, cool. um, tape flange, that sort of stuff. Take me there. But first of all, this is the intro tone to Little Wing. Mmm. <laughs> Solo tone for Little Wing on the red position. Okay. So you can actually change the rotary amount and the tape flange amount with the heel and toe switches, but I can't work out if it's working or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number five, all along the watchtower. This is the intro tone. Uh, the red is the solo tone one. Oh, there's delays in there as well. Wow. Yeah, just pop, give me a little. All right, and then if I hit the mode button again, this time it should add an additional yellow LED mode, which is for the second solo tone. That's okay. pretty close. Okay. That's pretty close. So you got wire and delay in there as well, giving you that uh, that tone for, wow, all along the watchtower. Very cool. Yep. Uh, number six is for Voodoo Child, slight return. Mm. Uh, intro tone is the, intro tone is the green mode. Am I doing a good uh, right doing, foot for you? You're doing great. <laughs> With my hand. Great. Uh, the red mode is tone, solo tone one. Mm. Once 
again, you got that sputtering fuzz. Yeah. Then, I can't remember what this solo is supposed to sound like, the second solo in Voodoo Child, but anyway, this is it. Sure, but how's my wiring? Hand oh, wiring. It's good. <laughs> I mean, they've put a good wire in there. There's no. Oh, it's, it's, that's a good sounding wire. Yeah, and it's got a really narrow frequency band, so it's really bitey and good. Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, this last one is the Star Spangled Banner live <laughs> from Woodstock. I'm not joking. <laughs> uh, so yeah. green is the intro tone, and the wire should be the rotary speed. <laughs> Then the solo tone is the red mode and the switch is also the uni vibe speed. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like it's got an octave on it as well. Or oh, it's beautifully harmonic. It's, and got, it's got a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. So that was obviously the... Uh, you're obviously playing the Australian National Anthem there, which is amazing. For all our Dutch friends. Yeah. That is it. Now, I've just got to um, say, for every single one of those presets, you can actually adjust the gains, the tone, yep. and the reverb level and stuff to match your guitar and amp and rig and stuff, just to really fine-tune yeah. all the sounds. But if you're playing Hendrix songs in a cover band, My God. you could absolutely nail seven of these songs' tones yep. with one pedal. That's really cool. Really Thanks, cool. uh, Verley at Past Effects, for sending us that to play around with. That was yeah. actually fun. And I'm gonna, I'm actually going to muck around with this tonight and have some fun. Should well done, Digitech, for getting this one. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, and these are expensive. These are still three or 400 bucks. Okay, used. righto. And the Brian May one that we did, there's another video on our channel for the Brian May version of this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 600 Yeah, that's still 600 bucks. Yeah. Let us know if you've got one of these um, or if you're selling one of these. <laughs> yeah, or how you use it, that'd be amazing. Give us a subscribe and a thumbs up, that'd be amazing. Thanks. It helps the channel out a lot. Yeah. Uh, and let's just make you more videos like this. See you next time. Bye. See ya.